G'day everyone, Prep Aussie here, I hope you're all well in whatever part of the world you're watching this video. Today is Wednesday the 8th of September 2021 and the time here is 0850 Australian Eastern Standard Time. Well folks, plenty to go through, let's get into it. Here is my sponsor, Totally Rawsome, who make golden activated turmeric paste amongst other things. Um, if you haven't tried golden activated turmeric paste, you are missing out, folks. It it dead set works. Um, anybody that I've recommended it to, um, I've never had any complaints about it, and it it just gets stronger and stronger. This stuff because uh, because of personal um, references from people to other people, etc. And it's just going from strength to strength. It really is good stuff, folks. Um, you can get it for your dogs as well. Um, my dog takes it and it really helps his hip problem that he's got. Okay, here's where you can see them. Go and see them, talk to them on the left hand side there, Thursday, Saturdays, and every third Sunday. Uh, and contact info at totallyrawesome.com.au. Okay, right. Let's start this off with um, <clears throat> what's the word? Let's call it a uh, personal statement. I am not a scientist. I am an ex-construction manager uh, who knows how to read and do swims, etc., method statements, blah, 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 safety data sheets. I'm not a scientist. I am also not anti-vax. People, just about everyone I know is taking a vaccine. <clears throat> I'm not because I have a particular reason, two particular reasons. I don't know what it is. And two, I'm on a lot of meds and I'm not messing with that. Um, so let me get that straight, straight from the beginning. I am full pro-choice. You don't want to take it? Don't take it. You want to take it? Take it. It's up to you guys. It's not, it's, it makes no difference to me at all. But what I said in my last video, the law, uh, which by the way has got nearly 20,000 views, which is extraordinary, um, was there is particular reasons that you don't have to take it. They, they don't change. That's as regards to employment law. Um, because employment law is one of the strongest laws in the country. Uh, employment, uh, I said the other day, I couldn't remember what the other one was. It was food, law, uh, employment, and cars, mechanical. So they're the three big ones, believe it or not. Now, um, Everything runs by that. Now, I want to say off, right from here, I had a few complaints about the length of the last video. And, oh, you know, you could have said it in three minutes. Yeah, you try saying all this stuff in three minutes, mate. So this, this video is going to be probably as long, if not longer, because today what I'm going to show you is the safety data sheet from Pfizer, which actually gives you everything you need to know. and then. I'm going to introduce you to what is called a SWIMS here in Australia, which is a safe worth working method statement. SWIM. Viable in all industries, regardless. Safe work method statement. And I'll go through that with you now. Okay, here is the Pfizer safe safety data sheet page now you go to the home page obviously I've, I've cut that shortcut out you go here our products see safety data sheets you can all do this it's easy not that hard and this is what it gives you sorry I, this is the second time i've done this video so 
first one didn't work. Okay, identification of the substance mixture and of company undertaking. Product identifier, product name, Pfizer COVID-19 vaccine. There you go. Right, now you're going to see a lot of this goobly gook here about PF, Pfizer, blah, 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 blah. I don't know what any of that is. Chemical family, lipid nanoparticles containing blah, blah, blah in lipids. I don't know what any of that is. I'm not a scientist. <clears throat> what I am is a bloke who knows how to read safety data sheets. That's what I used to do for a living um, as a construction manager. You have to. It's simple as that. Anything that you use on your building site has to have an MSDS sheet, material safety data sheet. It's that simple. So let me go through this with you. It's what I used to do. I used to read these things all the time because it was boring. Okay. Now, there is some things in here that are quite scary, to be honest with you. And I'm going to go through those with you now. Here we go. Hazard statements not classified in accordance with international standards for workplace safety. Now that's a weird comment. Hazard statements, right? Then go down below here. Note, this document has been prepared in accordance with standards for workplace safety, which require the inclusion of all known hazards of the product or its in ingredients regardless of the potential risk. The precautionary statements and warnings may not apply in all cases. Your needs may vary depending upon the potential for exposure in your workplace. So, in one breath they're saying it doesn't meet any standards and in the other one they're saying it does. So right away I'm reading that going, okay, which one is it? Okay. Then it goes into composition information on ingredients. And you get all the you know usual blah 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 blah. Now, what I am going to say is that I have never seen a data sheet with so much of this information missing. Ever. No data, no data, no data, no data, no no, no nothing. In actual fact, it's so poor. Right, that I could not use this data sheet. If this data sheet was given to me on site, I could not use it because there's basically no data in it that I can use. Look, you see for yourself. And look, I'm not sure what these M factors or classification or regulation, okay. Classification according to regulation, EC, European Commission, number one, blah, 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 no data. So what are they backing this, this vaccine up against? See this M factor long term. Now this is all relevant because it come, I'll read something later that comes out of this. Acute toxicity estimate. No data, no data, no data. Okay, right now let's read this. Additional information, not assigned, proprietary. Non-hazardous ingredients provided for completeness. Ingredients indicated as hazardous have been assessed under standards for workplace safety. Well, why is there no data then? In accordance with blah, 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 the exact percentage composition of this mixture has been withheld as a trade secret then you cannot use it. They just said the exact percentage composition of this mixture has been withheld as a trade secret. Right, now this is important. Pfizer signed, every time Pfizer is used around the world, uh, the COVID-19 vaccine, the government, the relevant government, Australian government, US government, whoever, signs a complete 
indemnity for life against Pfizer. So no one can sue Pfizer from now until eternity if this vaccine goes tits up. That's a fact. Secondly, the contract apparently stipulates that no one is allowed to ask by court in Australia what's in the vaccine. What are the ingredients? This is true. So I just read to you that. I'll read the last bit again. The exact percentage, percentage composition of this mixture has been withheld as a trade secret. Then you technically cannot use it. Under law, you cannot use it. Under Australian, sorry, let me correct myself there. Under Australian health and safety laws, you cannot use this product because they just told you that what they've written in there is not factual. Does that make sense? So all that, everything in there that said no data, no data, and no, all those things, they just said that they have not submitted everything that's in the vaccine on the data sheet. Can't use it. Sorry, boss. Read this bit. Right, that's important. I'm going to go back to it. Right, first aid measures, etc. We'll skip all that because that's just usual boring stuff. <clears throat> Physical and chemical properties. Now, this tells you nothing. No data, no data, no data, no data. I couldn't use it if I, even if I wanted to. Physical and chemical properties. Right, so what is this stuff? Don't know, no one knows, can't, there's no data. No data. Right, toxicological information. Now, remember. If under, under Australian law, if you ask me to, if you're working for me and you are, you're asked to do a task that in any way, any way you think may hurt you or impede your safety or put you in a, a perilous position, then you have the right as an employee to ask your employer to do two things, provide you with the safety data sheet and construct a method, safe work method statement based on that data sheet. Does that make sense? So that you can work safely. Does that make sense? That's how, that's, look, I'm not telling you anything I don't know. If I'm telling you something you know, then I'm sorry. But there's a lot of people out there that don't know this. So if you do that, that puts your boss in a in a legally binding position, put it that way, and you as much as him. It's a two-way street. It's 50-50 split. So when you get something that says, now this is their safety data sheet, toxicological properties have not been thoroughly investigated. The following information is available for the individual ingredients. Known clinical effects. Possible adverse effects following intravenous exposure to this compound may include injection site pain, muscle pain, headache, fever, chills, tiredness, joint pain, abnormal redness of skin, arrhythmia, and sleeplessness. Serious, serious allergic reactions, including anaphylaxis have been reported. But let me go back to the first bit. Toxicological properties, properties have not been thoroughly investigated. Bang. 
you can't use this, even if you wanted to, you can't use this. And can I just say, it's actually legally implausible that the Australian government or any government is using this based on that one thing, apart from the other ones I showed you above and the ones I'm going to show you down below. It's illegal, totally illegal. Toxological have not been thoroughly investigated. It is illegal. Me, based as an ex-construction manager, based on a safety data sheet, you gave me this safety data sheet, I read that. You can't put your, because the person I was working for, they put me in a position to make sure I don't expose them to risk. So based on that one statement, I'll be going, sorry guys, we can't use this. On that one statement. Because they haven't, it hasn't been tested. They just told you that. Have not been thoroughly investigated. Remember, these are the guys that made everyone sign a thing saying, oh, we want an indemnity just in case anybody, you know, if people start turning into zo flesh-eating zombies in two years. That's why these data sheets are important, folks, and that's why you need to know how to read them. Legally, can't use it. Don't care what anyone says. <laughs> okay. Oh. Serious allergic reactions in anaphylaxis have been reported. Bang. Doesn't say, yeah, mediocre, but serious allergic reactions. You can't use it. You shouldn't be using it. Serious. There's no data there to say, you know, uh, one in 1,000, one in 2,000, one, one to one. How do I know what it is? Then we get into the serious stuff. This is what they injected the rats with, rats and, and rabbits, right? Now, repeated dose toxicity. Now, remember, they just told you they don't know if there's any long-term toxicity problems with it. Now, when I read this, four weeks, rat intramuscular. So, basically, all this data is based on four weeks of injecting a rat with it. Because did you notice there's nothing mentioned about human trials there? Nothing. There's nothing in this data sheet that says human trials that I can find. Might have read over it, but I haven't seen it. That's a worry. So it goes through and it says, no evidence of impaired fertility or harm to the fetus, right? Now, based on what? Reproduction and development toxicities, study type, blah, blah, blah. No effects at maximum dose. What was the maximum dose? Folks, this data sheet is the worst one I've seen in ever. And I'm not joking. Now, this is really important. 11.2.1. Endocrine disrupt, disrupt, disrupting properties. No information available. Other information, other adverse effects, no information available. Right, now, you're going to, this is something that I actually know about. <laughs> right, when you've got a safety data sheet, you've got to find out if you have to wear gloves, masks, body armour, you know, the whole works, because this stuff might go into your skin and give you cancer. Because your body has this thing called an endocrine um, system. Right, now let me show you on the sheet here. 
The endocrine system is a series of glands that produce and secrete hormones that the body uses for a wide range of functions. These control many different bodily functions, including respiration and metabolism. Now, would you not think that if you are going to make a vaccine, that you'd want to make sure that it didn't affect the endocrine system. But go back one thing, I just told you, they have no toxicity uh, and no relevant data based on that, whether it gives you cancer or not. They just told you before, toxicity and everything. Once again, you can't use it. It's illegal. You take that up to a, you go to a court with some of the stuff I'm showing you right now, they'll, they'll throw this out. They'll get an injunction to stop this stuff because there is no data in this safety data sheet. In actual fact, they're actually telling you it's pretty lethal because they haven't got any data to back it up. It's pathetic. It's the worst one I've ever seen. I'm not saying that just because it's COVID-19 or anything. If it was anything else, I'd say the same thing. <laughs> so you go through this. There's no information whether it disrupts your endocrine system. You know, your respiratory, hormones, etc. There's nothing there that says they haven't done any testing on it. No information available. Pretty bad. There you go. Endocrine disrupting properties. No information available. Other adverse effects. Now you'd think this would be something. No information available. Even though that's incorrect because on 12.7, now that might be just for some of these these sodium chlorides, potassium. Now that goes in the face of the other one, which said that it causes anaphylactic shock. So they didn't, whoever wrote this safety data sheet doesn't know how to write safety data sheets. But this should say, refer back to section blah, 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 above, which said causes anaphylactic shock. Right, and here's something that caught my eye. It says, that this has this substance has to be used at minus 70 degrees. Where does it say it? Sorry, I'm trying to find it. Okay, I couldn't find it, but in here somewhere it says that it has to be stored at seven minus 70. Now if you know anything at all about fridges, uh, cool rooms, cold rooms, the coldest one I've ever been in has been like minus 30, uh, minus 20, something like that. I've never been in a cold room that's minus 70. I don't think they make them. You probably could find some, obviously, but Jesus, they'd be few and far between. So, my question being, it's just a question, how, if this goes to my GPs, local office GPs and chemists, etc., how the hell are they keeping this at minus 70? That's, that's a standard question. If I was going to have to store this thing on site, how am I keeping it at minus 70? And how do I know? that it stays at minus 70 because it says it has to be at minus 70. Small point, but very, very pertinent because once it goes below minus 70, it's corrupted apparently. Right, now read this. This is the final bit. Here we go, down the bottom, right down the bottom, right? Chemical safety assessment. <laughs> no information available. 
15.2, Chemical Safety Assessment. No information available. I can't use this if there's no chemical safety analysis. It's ridiculous. What, how, what is it? If there's no chemical safety assessment or analysis, how can I use it? Does that make sense to anyone? Right, now let's read the bottom. It was the revision date was the 19th of March, 2021, a couple of months ago. Pfizer Inc. believes that the information contained in this safety data sheet is accurate. And while it is provided in good faith, it is without warranty of any kind, express or implied. If data for a hazard are not included in this document, there is, a, is no known information at this time. Bang. I can't use that sheet. I can't use this product. Pfizer believes. Not Pfizer states. Pfizer says this is honky dory. Believes. And they've even told you in their own safety data sheet right at the bottom, if data for a hazard are not included in this document, in this, in this document there is no known information at this time. You're using this shit. You're using this product with no information at this time. So when are they going to give it to us? Two years down the track? 10? 15? You're a guinea pig. If you're using this product, you are a guinea pig after what I just showed you. And remember, I'm not a scientist. I'm just reading the bits that I can assimilate in my brain and react to. I'm not that intelligent. I'm not a scientist or anything. So I'm just reading the things that if you came to me and I had to use this, I would say, sorry, I can't use this. I'd, have, I'd actually have to write officially back to you and say, based on this information, I'd list them down and say, I can't use this product. I can't expose anybody to this product because basically there's no information on it. And the information that is there is not relevant. So that's pretty bloody scary, folks. So let's go to the next bit. Now, here's how this works. So we, you bring me the safety data sheet on a product that you want to use, say you're on my site. We'd look through that, we go fine. And then we would make sure that on your SWIM, which is a safe work method statement, that is signed by yourself and by me. That we've gone through the process, we've looked at the, the data, we've looked at what you have to do to make sure you work safely using this product. You know, face mask, gloves, body armor, who knows? Then both of us sign it to say that we've actually gone through the process to make sure that we're happy with it. And then usually what happens is, if it's, an, if it's a particular type of job, I'll send that to the safety officer, the company safety officer. He'll go through it and he'll either add stuff, take stuff out, make sure that the company's covered. Does that make sense? So here's what, you, here's what a safe work, what it means as a safe work method statement. A SWIMS is a document that sets out the high risk construction work activities to be carried out at a workplace, the hazard arising from these activities and the measures to be put in place to control the risk. That's a, that's a true statement. So basically everything you use, you're going to do that task is covered. Does that make sense? Now, here's where it gets technical. And please, guys, 
don't think you can print these out and take them down to the local police station and go, there you go, this is all bullshit, I'm not doing it. They laugh you out of the door, tell you to get out, you're an idiot. It's not for the police, it's not for local government. This is between employee and employer and work safe or any OSHA people that you have in America, etc. All right? So as an employee, your boss says, you have to take this product. No, uh, you have to get a jab so you can work. You go, sweet, okay, give me the safety data sheets. He has to give them to you by law. Then he gives them to you. You go through them and you go, well, hang on a minute, mate. You've just asked me to take a jab so I can go across the Queensland border. This safety data sheet has no information on it. And by the way, here's the relevant sections that tell me that I can't use this product. That's what you put on the swim. On your swim, safe work method statement. I'm getting in my truck. I'm going to Bob the Frutero. He's going to load up the truck. And then I'm going to go across the border to Rob the Frutero on the other side. And I'm going to drop off the fruit. But you've asked me to take the jab. So here's the safety data sheet for that jab. And here's the problems with it and why I'm not taking it. Official. You sign it. You give it to your boss. Don't give him the original copy. Make sure you take it a second copy. You sign it. I've signed it. I've gone through it. Here, look, this is the problems with it. List all the problems underneath the headings from the safety data sheet. Put them in the work safe work method statement. And you go, there you go. You better sign that and give it back to me. Then what you do, if there's, if there's any issues with that, right, you take it to WorkSafe. You ring WorkSafe and you say, hey, listen, or you email WorkSafe, say, can I please have a case number because I'm not taking this jab based on this safe work method statement. And my boss is trying to make me take this even though it's illegal. It's a, it's a holy product based on this stuff here. WorkSafe has to do something. That's the law because you've actually submitted official paperwork to WorkSafe advising them that your boss is trying to poison you. It's fact. Regardless of the fact if we, we're living under, what do you call these orders? Health, current health orders. It's that simple, folks. Now, as regards to this, you know, it's been mandated by the government that you have to have a jab to work in the hospital. <laughs> That's bullshit. They can mandate everything they want, and they can mandate stuff under a health order. It does not make it a law. You rock up with those two sheets of paper, with everything listed, like I said, and you give it to your employer, and you tell them they have to sign it and give it back to you, they will quite literally shit themselves because it's official. And you say to them, if you want, I'm taking this to work safe, mate. I don't give a shit what you say. I ain't taking that. Read that. Read the safety data sheet. Read what I've written on that safety data sheet. And they will quite literally go, wow. Right? A mandate is not a law. The reason the Australian government, the Australian federal government, is saying they are not going to change the law to make it mandatory that you take the jab, or it is not mandated, but um, it's passed as law that you have to take the jab, is because it will never, ever pass government. Ever. They have to take it through the, the chambers through the uh, members of parliament and in the Senate to get it passed. It's never going to pass. No one in their right mind is going to pass it. And can I just say, to pass the law, they would have to rescind the Nuremberg um, edict, and they can't do that. That's why they're saying they're not going to pass it as law. They're going to leave it up to individuals, and then they're going to leave it up to individual states under their health orders, to say to you, 
You, it is mandated. You must take it. I've just given you the paperwork. Art of war. Use it. It works. It will work. Trust me. If 100 people in each state did this, their work safe people would be epileptic because they have to react to it. But be smart. Get the data sheet. Get the bits in it that you reckon are affecting your health and point out the fact that this is not right. It's not going to work. Put it on a swims and give it to your boss. And if you want, send it to WorkSafe before you give it to your boss. And say, guys, it's, this is illegal. I want a case number brought about this claim. Hope that makes sense. Okay, folks, let's do the prayers. Him we preach, warning every man and teaching every man in all wisdom that we may present every man perfect in Jesus Christ. Don't know about that, but we'll try and get there, I guess. One second, folks, sorry. And as always, we'll finish with the Lord's Prayer, folks. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Okay, look, as I said at the beginning, I'm not a scientist. I don't know about all that bloody data, uh, not the data, the, um, the scientific stuff in there. There is people out there listening to this YouTube video who are. Good luck to you. Do your research. Help us all out. In America, I've just given you a very simple and easy way through litigation in your system, which is easier than ours, to take this to court. And just say this is bullshit. You can't use this. This 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 is incorrect. This is wrong. If you don't mind, anyone in America, can you please forward what I've just shown you to? Um, uh, she's on the war room, um, Doctor Naomi Wolf. Please, because this is important. That's how important this is. You cannot use a product that is not. Um, or has not been tested properly. It's that simple. They don't even know if this stuff affects your endocrine system, which is basically your whole system, by the way. If you haven't got an endocrine system, you're screwed. So I've done my bit. You guys help out and do your bit and start processing this properly. Don't go down to the bloody border and stand there with a truck and, you know, that's bullshit. That's not going to do anything. Don't go down to the border and stand there with thousands of people. That's not going to do anything. The art of war. Use what you know. Use your opponent's strengths against him and weaknesses against him. I've just given it to you. This is their system, the one they set up so that we could do this. All right. God bless prep out. Uh, one last thing. Um, everyone's asked me about loading up the bit shoot. Um, it takes a couple of days. I don't, I don't know why. I've put all my videos on there now. You can find them on the uh, bit shoot channel, uh, prep Aussie. But it just takes a couple of days to load a video. I have no idea why. It's just the way it is. All right. God bless. Prep out.